Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I cut through rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, see what spills out. So this week we are doing all Favocytes fossil, honeycomb coral fossils. Um, I had an idea to put together little packs of fossils with some wet sandpaper that you could like buy as a kit to like hand sand a sweet cut fossil. So hopefully I get a couple of these that will, you know, qualify for that. I have a couple little ones here. This little guy that's just totally full all the way through. So I kind of want to go right through the middle. Then same thing with this one. You know, this one you can see the side patterns are that way. So I don't know if I'll go maybe right down the middle this way and get the top view or maybe go for the side view not sure this one is another totally thick it's got pockets it's got all sorts of stuff but i'm gonna go this way right down the middle get big faces on that thing and try to hopefully it looks just like this on the inside not too pity this is just a little strange one that i had that i feel like if i cut this thing open like this way it might look like a bu bouquet of flowers like when i cut it you know it'll be like limestone down here and then favocytes that looks like the flowers at the top so we're gonna see if that's what that turns out to be but actually this one's got a weird little inclusion in there too so maybe we'll see something else but then this one is probably the coolest one i think um it's just totally full totally solidified you can see how small the little pockets are on this one and then a little mudstone there and some darker pockets so i want to get right down the middle of this thing you know there's another pocket right here that's actually got some brachiopod shells in it like a couple different pockets so hopefully i catch one of those pockets without breaking the shells off but we'll see but we're gonna go right down the middle and i think this thing will look totally awesome in the middle and then the last one number six this is another one that's just really really full i'm not 100 percent sure which way i want to go if i want to go like this way or if i want to go yeah, i don't know that's probably what i'll end up doing going right down the middle this way but we'll see when we get there. So we're gonna use the 10 inch slab saw and we're gonna use a thick centered blade today just because I wanna get really nice cuts. I wanna try to get not too many saw marks on there. So like when you go to sand these things by hand, they're really easy to sand. So let's get set up and start cutting. Okay, through the first one, gritty, gritty. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that is really good. Look at all the different materials in there. You got some negative pockets down there, some really dark up here, white, yellow. So that turned out really good, that first one. So you'll be able to polish up both sides of that by hand really easy, you know, real soft materials in here. Probably the brown is probably the hardest material in here, but all right, one for one. Let's get on to number two. Okay, this one I wasn't really sure which way to go, so I just went right down the middle, kind of at a, a diagonal, just to see what I would get. So let's see what we got. Ooh, another really good one. Got some longer side views and some top views. Kind of caught it at an angle. So that one will turn out good too. Get some of this grit off of here. Like I said, this stuff is really soft, so they'll be really easy to hand polish. So yeah, these will be good ones too. All those little white lines will pop out once you polish it. All right, two for two. Let's get on to number three. Okay, I got high hopes for this one too, because this was the one that had, ooh, listen, you can hear some pockets in there. Ooh, that's promising. Let's see what we got. Oh, it just came through right there. Look at that. It's like a brachiopod shell right through the, right through it. Really, really cool though. Look at all those little pockets. Again, you got the darker material. Got a little sandstone grittiness there on this one. Little uh, 
monkey face right there in white. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of negative pockets again, a couple holes through. That's actually really cool. So it'll be really good to polish this one up too by hand. It'll be really easy, super soft. Kind of got like a almost geode pockety in there. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So that's definitely three for three. Let's get on to number, oh, actually look right there too. Another little geode pocket right there. Didn't even notice that till right now. All right, let's get on to number four. Okay, so this was the one that I was hoping was gonna look like a bouquet of flowers. So it would stand up like this. So then when I open it up, <laughs> oh look at that it does it does it did do what i wanted it to do look at all those negative pockets look at that all of them are empty that's crazy that's actually really cool then i have this splotch of different colored mudstone or just stained or something in there that's super weird these are really cool though here let me rinse them off quick maybe get a better look at them yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at all that. Those are all, that's all negative pockets right there. That's crazy. So I don't know what would happen if you'd try to sand this. If like you could keep some of that negative, if you just sanded it down a little bit, that might look really cool. And then this one actually had that pocket right in the middle too that came through all the way through. And then like a line of silicified fossil or something right there. Yeah, that's really cool. So definitely four for four. On to number five. Okay, super high hopes for this one too. I did have a little bit of chip out, but I figured I would because this one looked really, really soft and just full of those pockets. So a little bit of chip out right there, but not too bad. And then this was the one with the big brachiopod shell pockets in it. So let's see. Oh yes, I was able to keep it. But you can't really see, I kind of split that shell right in half. This is another really crazy one. Another pocket right in the middle, kind of filled with like sandstone or Mudstone, let me get those rinsed out too quick. Maybe get a better look at what's actually in there. All right, there we go. So yeah, you can actually see that's a geode pocket right there. Some crystal formations in there. And then a brachiopod pocket. And then throughout the whole thing is just tiny little favocytes pockets. So this one would be really cool to shine. It would just be a little tougher. You'd have to be careful on these edges. But definitely doable this might actually be a geode pocket too so like a double geode pocket there a couple crystals on that side so that one definitely turned out awesome too so let's get on to that last one Whew, okay last one I kind of did a weird cut. I kind of tried to keep a little bit of that mudstone on each side, but I tried to cut right through the middle of it. So let's see. Oh, look at that. I'm glad I did it that way with that contrast of the mudstone in there. And that mudstone is like three different colors too. Plus all of those pockets, kind of the side view of the favocytes there couple more pockets in there again look at this one looks like it's got like waves on the bottom of it that is awesome so those will be really good polishers too a couple little geody pockets again so definitely i would say six for six on all these favocytes today i think this one is definitely my favorite though with that kind of like picture forming in there and then with the favocytes maybe as the sky that's awesome all right, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already, stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.